Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here. Today we're going to look at a super quick method of finding the HCF and LCM, or the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. On my channel, you'll find various uh, videos on GCSE maths and how to learn certain topics in a quicker and a better way. So don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the videos I have in my channel. Now, most of you probably know that you can find the highest common factor by listing the factors of two numbers. So let's have a quick go at the normal traditional way. So you list six factors of six, which is one, six, two, and three. I always try to list them in fair pairs, so it's easy to find them. 12 factors are one and 12, two and six, and three and four. And we can see the common factors are one, two, three, and six and the highest common factor we know it is six for the lowest common multiple you usually list the multiples of six so there'd be six twelve eighteen twenty four multiples of twelve twelve twenty four thirty six and we can see the lowest common multiple is twelve so the lcm or the lowest common multiple is twelve now this could take a lot of time if it comes to slightly bigger numbers, for example, 75 and 30, or 200 or and 250. So today I'm gonna to show you a super quick way to find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of big numbers. So let's start off by finding the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of smaller numbers. So first of all, we need to draw a grid. Place the numbers on the top the pair of numbers that you're finding the highest common factor and those common multiple of. Now you need to find a number that goes into six and 12 and that number has to be the smallest prime number. If you're not sure about the prime numbers, so let's list the prime numbers here. So prime numbers, we have two. One is not a prime number. If you're thinking one, one does only have one factor, one itself. So a prime number needs to have two factors. So two, three, five, seven, and 11. Should be enough up to here. So the smallest prime number is two, that goes into six and 12. So two goes into six, three times, two goes into 12, six times. Now three and six, which prime number goes into three and six? The smallest one, which is three. Three times one is six. So three times one is three, and three times two is six. Now there's no other number that goes into one and two apart from one, again, one is not a prime number, so we have to stop here. Now, let's find the highest common factor. So the highest common factor, we need to, for the highest common factor, we need to multiply the two and three, the numbers on the left side here. Okay, so let's change the color here. So we need to multiply for the highest common factor, just these two numbers, two and three. So it'll be two times three, which is six. Okay, and for the lowest common multiple, lowest common multiple, you need to multiply all of these numbers. So these two numbers and the two on the left. Okay, so that'll give us two times three times one times two. And that'll be two times three, six. Six times one is six. Six times two is 12. So we found the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of six and 12. So let's have a go at the other two questions that we just written down at the start. So it'd be 75 and 30. So first of all, draw a grid. Don't need that extra line here. That should be enough. So 75 and 30, place them at the top. Let's add a few more rows. So the smallest prime number that goes in 75 and 30, you can think of five, or even three, does three go into it? Yes, three goes into it, smallest prime number. So that'd be 25 and 10. The smallest prime number goes into 25 and 10 is five, so five times five, five times two. And there's no other number that goes into five and two apart from one, and one is not a prime number. So let's find the highest common factor. 
You want to multiply these two numbers, 3 and 5, 3 times 5, which is 15. And the lowest common multiple is going to be 3 and 5, and then the bottom two numbers as well. So 3 times 5, times by 5, times by 2. 3 times 5 is 15, times by 5 is 75, times by 2 is 150. So we found the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 75 and 30. Highest common factor is 15 and lowest common multiple is 150. The next two numbers are 200 and 250. So we'd like you to have a go at this. So draw the grid first. Might need a few more rows. So 200 and 250. I'll let you get started with this one so I know that 2 goes into it, which is the smallest prime number. And they're both even. So pause the video and have a quick go at it. And let's see what answers you come up with. Okay, I hope you had a good go at this question. So let's have a look what we have. So 2 goes into 200, 100 times. And that will give us 125. 100, 100 and 125. 5 goes into both. So 5 goes into 120 times. 5 goes into 125, 25 times. Again, 5 goes into 24 times, 5 goes into 25, 5 times. Okay, we found the numbers now. There's no other number goes into 4 and 5. So let's find the highest common factor. We're going to multiply the numbers on the left. So 2 times 5 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10 times 5 is 50. And the lowest common multiple is going to be the one was on the left and the bottom two numbers multiplied together. So 2 times 5 times 5 times 4 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, times 5 is 50, times 4 is 200, times by 5 is 1000. And we found the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 200 and 250, which is 50 and 1000. I hope this video helps. If you want to try a few more questions, then give this a go. So let's say number one, find the highest common factor, lowest common multiple of 30 and 60. Start with some easy numbers, uh, slightly bigger numbers, 100 and 150. And let's try a slightly bigger numbers, 300 and 450. Once you worked out the answers, let me know in the comments and let's see what answers you got. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video and it helps you, please do give it a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.